Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at two sets of data. So let's say that there is a class where we've got a number of boys and a number of girls and they all take the same test. And these are the scores that they achieved. Now, what I've been asked to do is make a back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram so that we can compare the distribution of the class scores between the boys and the girls. And then I'm going to want to try and find the median and the range for both sets and then make a comparison between the two. What conclusions can I come to? So I'm going to start off by drawing the back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram. So I'm going to look at the data first and I'm going to think to myself, well, I've got 40s, 50s, 60s, I've got 70s and I've got 30s. And so I'm going to start off with 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and 70s so that all 10 groups are represented. This is going to be my stem. And I'm going to have the, uh, well, I'm going to have the girls on the left and the boys on the right. Okay? So, I'm going to start off with the boys. I've put these numbers in order to make this easy for ourselves. So, I'm going to start off with 43, 44, 48. So, 43, 44, 48. And then I've got 52. 59, then I've got 61, 61, and 68. Okay? And that's my scores for the boys. Then I've got the girls. Now, notice how for the boys I work from left to right. When I'm on the other side of the stem and leaf diagram, I work from right to left. So I've got 39, 48, 51, 56, and then 67. 68 and 72. Okay? And so the key that would go with this could say that 6, 1 means 61. Okay? Um, and you only really need one key for the whole set of data. So here is my back to back stem and leaf diagram. And we need to be able to work out for the boys the range. Well, let's, see. let's work out the median, then the range. And then for the girls, I'm going to want the median and the range as well. Okay. So, first of all, for the boys, the median... Well, smallest, largest, smallest, largest, smallest, largest, and then I'm trying to find the middle number between 52 and 59. So the trick, if, if you want a trick, is adding the numbers together and then dividing by 2. So 52 plus 59 is 111, and then half of that is 55.5. So 55.5 is the median for the boys. Then you've got the range. The range will be 68 take away 43. So that would be 25. So the difference between the lowest score and the highest score for the boys is 25. Now for the girls. The median, the smallest, largest, smallest, largest, okay, so careful with this, then the smallest is 51, then the largest is 67, leaving me with 56. And then the range is 72, not 27, 72, take away 39, okay? So that would be, trying to do that in my head, but with all the numbers back to front, it's not too easy. So 72 take away 39 is 33. So we get 33 for the range. So what comparisons could we make? Well, if we've been asked to find the median and the range for both the boys and the girls, we should be able to come up with one 
common comment or one conclusion to do with both of the medians and one comparison to do with the range. So for the median, the median is an average. So that's telling me that on average, the girls gained a higher score than the boys. You can see that they were half a mark ahead. It's very close, but the girls do have an advantage there. Okay, so the girls on average did better in the exam than the boys because their median is larger. However, when we compare the range, it shows us that the girls are more spread out. Their range is larger than the boys. So there is a greater difference between the weaker student and the stronger student. The boys are more consistent than the girls. Okay, and that can be got from that data. So this is how you go from the original data to a back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram and then find the median range for each to, in order to make comparisons.